Good afternoon, everyone. And I, I would first of all want to start with, uh, to many of you, or to some of you, Happy New Year greetings and uh, season's greetings to everyone else. Uh, but I think it is a, a sad time, and I want to uh, uh, just remark on the uh, sad loss of life and property uh, with the floods in Queensland. There's uh, tragic circumstances. I was watching some of the televised news this morning as well, and when you see the news being reported here, you realize how devastating that is. Um, and I really want to pay some respects and uh, acknowledge the tragedy that's going on there. Uh, but I think more positively, uh, there's been fantastic test cricket that has been played uh, both here in Australia with the Ashes series and congratulations to England. Um, I think they played superbly well. They seem to be well prepared. Uh, they certainly executed and performed very well. Um, and I'm sure you'll agree with me that they were deserved uh, winners. Um, and equally, there was enthralling test match cricket in South Africa. I was fortunate to be um, at the Newlands Test match, um, which was uh, an absolute uh, uh, fabulous game of cricket, uh, despite it being uh, a drawn Test match, um, it was something uh, to watch over those five days. Um, it was also uh, remarkable to see the amount of interest uh, that has been generated both here in Australia uh, as well as South Africa uh, with Test match cricket. Um, but I think we all know the attention now turns to one-day cricket. Um, the World Cup is around the corner. Uh, the one-day series starts with uh, Australia playing uh, England tomorrow. Uh, the 40th anniversary uh, is a special event also for, for all of us uh, as we mark uh, 40 years of 50-over cricket. Um, so I'm looking forward now to one-day cricket after such uh, fantastic test match cricket. I think one-day cricket, or, or let me take a step back. Initially, there was a lot of concern over test match cricket. Um, and we had gone out to suggest that if we get the context right, uh, if there's a contest at hand, um, equally if the scheduling is, is properly done, um, we firmly believe that there are three viable formats at international level. Uh, I still firmly believe that. Um, I think one day cricket uh, will show you through the course of the World Cup uh, that it has a place. Um, and if we get context um, and a contest going, uh, you'll see the state of one-day cricket will be followed quite well. Harina, the one-day game has seen a lot of changes over those 40 years. Um, how long do you envision the one-day game staying its current 50-over format for? Have they been moved to 40 Yeah, I think that's a crystal ball question, but um, personally I view 50-over uh, cricket uh, still quite healthy and, and, and some way to go. Um, I think there's often, we talk about the tweaks that we need to do. Um, there's been a lot of that that's been introduced over time. Um, and I'm still a, su a supporter of uh, 50 over format. As opposed to dropping it down? As opposed to reducing it, or, or even split innings for that matter. I still support, at international level, 50 over cricket. What have you made of the research that has gone on into split innings? Sorry, I can't... You I would encourage that because that's exactly what we talk about um, at the ICC, at cricket committee level, at the chief executives committee. Uh, we encourage members and some of them take a lead uh, because that's the way we'll innovate and uh, continue to survive. I think there will come a time when uh, we will consider whether it's mandatory uh, or not. Um, I think at the moment um, it is clear that our position is to leave it to the host member in consultation with the visiting team. Um, partly that is the case because of the availability of uh, technology. Um, and we've got to acknowledge that uh, cricket is pioneering in this sense and, we, and we're still trialling uh, the system. Well, um, at the moment, um, even in one-day cricket, any, any member that wishes to use it ahead of the World Cup is entitled to do so uh, in agreement with the visiting team. Uh, we will be using it in the World Cup, so uh, UDRS will be used in the World Cup. And uh, post the World Cup, in so far as one-day cricket is concerned, 
we will consider that at the next uh, cricket committee meeting. So this, if this series is Australia England, this is the first time it's used in ODI? In one day cricket. Harun, are you happy with security arrangements for the World Cup? I, I am, and um, the reason why I say that is I think we've matured a lot in terms of infrastructure, capacity, expertise, probably experience as well in terms of managing safety and security issues. Uh, you might recall that all of the full members have now got a security manager. Uh, the ICC has got a security manager. And um, unlike in the past where we might have been relying entirely on um, independent experts or, or police agencies to provide the security. Uh, we've now got quite a coordinated approach uh, which, is, which has matured very well.